Well, competitiveness means um, a lot of things depending if you um, think about a country or a city or a company. Uh, for me, when you talk about competitiveness of a nation, it's a set of institu institutions, policies, and factors that determine the national level of productivity of a country, of a city. When you talk about a company, I would say it's a little bit different. It's the ability to um, produce uh, services or products and the ability to uh, sell, export them in a very competitively uh, sustainable uh, manner. So I would say those concepts can uh, relate at the firm, at, at the country level, but they have different implications for policy making. Innovation, definitely. I think Ecuador has, um, the government has done a great job at investing in uh, public infrastructure, reducing the cost of transactions, you know, reducing all the red tape, and also uh, a very deep, and strong reform and education at all levels. But I think now what is needed is to create uh, also the environment and the conditions and work with the private sector in enhancing the innovate, with innovation capabilities of companies. And I would say not only of um, you know small companies, but particularly the medium sized com companies that will make you know the bold the, the economy of the scales to raise overall productivity of Ecuador. So I would definitely say you know it's, it's the time for the public and private sector to work together you know towards a more effective innovation uh, policy is focusing on creating the capabilities uh, of companies um, um, uh, to innovate. First of all, let me say how uh, glad I am to be part of the GFCC network. I think it's a great opportunity to knowledge sharing and um, sharing experiences with all the uh, councils and um, centers that are part of the network. The challenge that Ecuador face uh, regarding innovation and spurring levels of, of productivity is not only to Ecuador. I mean, it, 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 those faces are for many nations uh, to accomplish. Latin America as a whole region is lagging on productivity. And we have um, differences in productivity, not only you know regarding to the size of company. I mean, the difference between the small and the large companies' productivities are very wide, but also across sectors. You know, the oil sector having a large uh, um, productivity, uh, but other sectors, for example, in Ecuador, like manufacturing or, or services, lagging. Um, so I think uh, through the GFCC, we can um, we can have um, sort of like two initiatives. One will be creating a regional uh, network of agencies, public and private, working towards uh, answering the question, how do we create uh, capabilities at the company level? You know, so because uh, technology has been uh, democratized, I mean, you have a lot of knowledge that technology has been, um, make it available to everyone. But the problem is that the acquisition and the, and the, and the application of that knowledge through the technology is not an instant phenomenon. I and mean, it's not like companies are taking that and doing it right away. They need to develop the capabilities. So I think governments need to create this public good, which is um, providing um, the solutions, providing the, the technology services so companies can um, create new products, create, create new processes in a way that it gets to the scale that makes a difference at the productivity level. And the second is not only um, creating those uh, environments and, and those channels so companies can adapt and transform, but also uh, providing the financing a means to do that. I mean, it, it is uh, the multilaterals like the World Bank and the IDB have been putting a lot of money through banks, you know, trying to enhance the financing of SMEs. But what is happening is that the more innovative companies, you know, of course, um, are prone to take more risks. So traditional lenders are not providing uh, to that particular new company for a new need, a new market, because they don't have the technology to uh, really understand risk in a way that it makes uh, sense. So I think there is in those two niches, I think there are um, a lot of work to be done, uh, innovating, creating solution, solutions for those um, problems that I think are um, most countries in Latin America are facing. And I see this network as a great opportunity to find, you to innovate, to socially innovate, and to create uh, those solutions through the learning, you know, learning by doing and sharing our experiences and um, getting better at it.
governments play a fundamental role in creating the conditions for the competitiveness of a country. You know, as I say in the beginning, for me, for my, for me, competitiveness is the set, the set of institutions. Uh, factors um, that create the levels of productivity in a country. So when a country, for example, in Ecuador, invests in infrastructure, in changing our energy matrix to make it more cleaner and sustainable and uh, costly efficient for firms, and when you know, you're know you creating a, a, um, a network of roads, like you know a first world roads like um, the government had done in my country, I think, of course, you're working for competitiveness. And more importantly, when governments um, and create environment, you know, the culture for innovation, and also you create a seamless environment for starting a business, for all the interaction, you know, with the public sector, making very um, e-ready, e -ready, you know, um, uh, electronically and, uh, and, uh, and um, reducing the, the time and of the cost for companies is great. But I would say one factor that makes a whole difference is when a country invests in education and reform its systems not only to provide access of education at all levels but more importantly you know creating ways for uh, children to learn to become innovative leaders to really uh, become um, um, critical thinkers and, and problem solvers I think not only is enough that countries are building the infrastructure uh, granting the free access for education but you need to do you need to revamp your education system in a way that you focus in how children should learn better. And Ecuador has done a lot of on that direction um, with very uh, sensible, um, deep reforms, not only at the elementary level, but you know also to the university level. I think education is, is something that we should focus and concentrate. And also, as I say before, you know, innovation policies are very important. Uh, for countries that are lagging up in productivity and, um, and and that also implies to have a system that works you know at different levels of policy research and development and also how you transfer and adapt technology and creating at the firm uh, level all the capacities to uh, take that knowledge and transform it in new products and new processes and new services of course too. All right thank you.